Alright, hey, what's going on, guys? It's Chaos here, and I'm back again with another Roblox scripting tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a teleportation system so you can teleport between parts. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert two parts, and I'll name the first one part one and part two. You can name these anything, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna name these each this. Okay. I'm going to make these. 4x4 four by, four by 0.5 just because that seems correct for me. Oh, didn't mean to do that one. Alright. And I'm going to put these apart. Oh, these are probably like 20 studs. There we go. Or 10, whatever. Um, and so now I'm going to colorize these to where you can tell the difference between them. So I'll make this red and blue. And I'm going to put them into a model. And I'm going to call this uh, teleporter. Yeah, I can't spell. Alright, now you're going to insert a script into that model. And we're going to use the following code. So we're going to um, reference the model. So we're going to go local model equals script.parent. Over part one equals model dot part one over part two equals model dot part two and now we're going to use the touched event to um uh for each part so we're going to go uh part one dot touched colon connect function and hit so hit will be the part that touched it. So um, uh, now we're gonna go check if hit and not hot. That that works. Okay. And hit dot parent and hit dot parent dot humanoid. Then uh, hit dot parent colon set primary part. C frame, and we'll do uh, part two dot C frame times C frame dot new, and inside the parentheses vector three dot new. Um, and we'll do zero um, five negative five, and we're just gonna go ahead and copy this code. And paste it down here and just change part one dot touch to part two dot touched and then part two dot c frame to part one dot c frame. And what we're gonna make sure is that the front of these parts are facing the directions. Um so I'll do make sure the front is facing this way and the other front is gonna be facing the other direction. Okay, that's good. And let me make sure these are moving on the. It will also depend on which axis these are going to be moving on. So let me go to. Okay, so that's already open. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, so it looks like yes, it's moving on the z axis. All right. Just had to make sure that I was doing it the, the correct direction, or else this would have gone wrong. Um. And so what? If I touch the blue one, it'll tell where it put me in front of the red one. If I hit the red one, it'll teleport me in front of the blue one. So the the C frames will change based on uh, whichever direction these spawns are facing. So this is just going to uh, move this negative five uh, studs on the Z axis, and this is uh, five studs up on the Y axis. So uh, these numbers will be different depending on your project. And you'd have to mess with these a little bit, but um, there's a lot more simplistic ways to do this. But I like to do it this way if uh, because it puts you in front of the um, teleporter back, and I don't have to use like a billion parts to do so, or even um, do a lot of other things. And obviously, there's a lot of simple ways to do this. But uh, if you're just looking for a simple teleporter, here it is. Um, this is nothing too fancy. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did leave a like, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, uh, uh, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.